Hello friends, today in this example we will learn uh, how to read from a CSV and write to Excel file. So, so in this activity I have already created a demo. So the first thing we will be doing is read CSV file. Okay, and uh, depending on the data, let me show you the CSV file that I have created. Uh, okay, so the CSV file is all right, so this is the CSV file that I've created. Let me open with Notepad. So now you can see that there are three different types of data. One is the employee ID, and then you have the employee name, and then you have the city name. So what we are going to do is, uh, from the city name, I want to filter out how many employees are from Bangalore. Okay, so it will use the filter condition. So what we'll be doing here is first we will read that CSV file. So once we read the CSV file, next thing that I'll be doing is right. The next thing I'll be doing is I will you know filter the data table as per Bangalore condition, and then I will write to Excel. So let's see that how to do it. So I've already created a, a demo. Let me explain here. So this read read CSV activity, um, you know, I have pointed out to the particular file, and then it is going to store in an output data table called input. Okay, so the output will get stored into the data table called input. So using that data table, it's going to read, uh, you know, it's going to filter that. So I have to the filter condition over here. This is the input data. Uh, from that CSV file, then it will read it and then filter as per the Bangalore condition and then store that to output. And then I have used the Excel application scope and have written it. So let's uh, you know start creating it and we will see the demo. All right. So here I will say read CSV and write to Excel. All right. So the very first activity that I'll be using is read CSV. So drag and drop the read CSV activity. Uh, read from a file. So I will select that particular file. Okay. So employee and city. This is the file. Okay. So now once uh, you know the file got created over here, it is going to read the entire data, right? All the data, whatever is there inside. It is going to read all of the data and keep it inside a data table. So I will create a data table. Let me create another variable, control K, so employee city DT. The DT is nothing but your data table. Okay. So all the data will get stored here and has header should be selected so that we can filter it using the header. Okay, header is nothing but your the first one, employee ID, employee element city. So we need to keep the header. All right. So has header should be selected. Now the uh, variable got created employee city dot dt right. So you can see if you go to the variable column, you can see that employee city dot dt got created very good. So after that, once it got created, then I have to use an activity. Just type data table. So there are so many different activities in data table. So here one of the activities filter data table because I have to filter as per the city so i'll use the filter data table and this is very easy to use uh, so you have to click on filter wizard and here you are from where the data will be read right so data will be read from employee city dt so this is our data table so employee this is our input data table right so it will read so after it reads filter so you have to click select on keep and uh, what is that uh, uh, column name so the column the header is city right as per the city i'll have to filter so this is case sensitive and show you type it in the same way so within uh, braces you have to type city okay city then i can say equals to then i want to filter is by filter it by the value bangalore right so there are three employees in bangalore so i will say the value is again in double quotes right Bangalore and the spelling and everything must be the same as for the data you are looking for. Okay. Alright, so this is done. So once it filters it out, that should store inside a 
but another output data table right so we would create it by control and k and here i will say employ bangalore so this is my output data table okay this is not a file this is again will store inside uh, like notepad when you copy and paste right so it will just store inside the data table so wanted to write into a file we'll be using the write activity in excel okay so right now i am taking from the data table filtering it out and then writing into a new data table called employee value okay then i'll click on okay all right so this got created if you come back to variable over here you can see that employee value data table variable got created all right once the variable is created then i'll have to use the excel application scope okay so excel application scope is required for any kind of excel activities so here uh, there are two ways one you can create a file wherever you like let's say desktop or downloads or documents or else if you don't want to do that you can simply write the name of the file for example i want to say uh, the file name is final excel bangalore or final bangalore employees employee bangalore so this should be the file dot x l s x okay this is the sx so this is the excel file i want to create okay fine so once you do that on the right hand side if you see the property panel uh, there is something called create new file right i was saying in in case the file is not already available where it should write it, it will automatically create the file okay so this is the best option that we have it over here okay so now the next activity under excel is so what you do just type excel okay and below that you will find all the excel application scope okay so in that i am going to use the right range okay this is what i'll be using right range all right so right range it's going to write in the sheet 1 and starting from the a1 uh, cell okay from the a1 cell so the data from where it will use is the so we have created the variable right the variable name is employee bangalore so from the employee bangalore it's going to take the data and write it into that excel file all right done so the programming is done now now i am going to run it okay all right so you can see that uh, the execution started and the execution completed so if i want to see the file all you can do is you can click on this okay if you click on this here you can see that the file got created employee bangalore city okay so let me open that and show you in the meanwhile i forgot to introduce myself uh, myself rakesh uh, i do create videos every day daily you will have one of the other video on ui path please do subscribe to the channel and do like and comment in case you want to learn anything new please do comment there i can create a video on that so uh in the document section uh sorry it got created inside the ui path right so i'll go to documents and then i'll go to ui path and then the project name is expo hub demo and inside that you can see that employee bangalore city so this is the file got created so let's see that if it has, it has filtered all the employees with the bangalore city or not okay there is a problem okay so you can see that all the uh, employee names with the bangalore city has automatically derived out of that csv file all right so this is the demo please do like and comment on the video guys if it is helping you and please do let me know what are the other videos that you like to watch thank you very much have a wonderful day